and welcome back to Life of Posey. I thought I'd jump on here really quickly to do another dog dress haul. I've been busy since our last video and I have been sewing lots of dresses. In fact, I have 10 brand new dresses that I've made for Posey. So I hope you'll follow along and see the dresses that I've created. Hobby Lobby happens to be one of my favorite places to pick out material for Posey's dog dresses. They have some really adorable prints and I just feel inspired most when I'm there. So the first dress I created was this black and white buffalo check dress with a really bright floral print. I thought that these fabrics were so adorable and I just knew instantly what I wanted to do with it. I knew I wanted to add some um, black rickrack to the edges and I also found this adorable little fringe at the bottom here at Hobby Lobby. And you know, it's not that expensive, like I always say to make these dresses because Hobby Lobby has great sales. And if there isn't a sale, you can always use a 40% off coupon. So I just think that this is so cute. And I went ahead and made some little, um, they call them yo-yos, fabric yo-yos, to embellish the waistline of this dress and a little button in the center there. And I thought it turned out adorable, I love it. The next dress is this adorable yellow and white buffalo check print fabric with red rose and red tulle accent coming out of the bottom of the skirt. This material I bought at a thrift store. I think I got about a yard of fabric for $1.50, can't beat that. And this little iron on um, embellishment I found at that thrift store as well. And that I would say there were several of them and it was under 75 cents. And I went ahead and bought a really cute little looped fringe for the ruffles and the red tool I already had on hand. And I think this is so cute. The ruffles are just so frilly and Posey looks adorable in it. This dress here was made from material that my mother gave me. It was an old dress she had and she was donating it. I took it out of the pile and I made Posey a dress from her dress. <laughs> it's a longer dress than some of the dresses I generally make for her. The skirt um, is a little bit longer, so it gives a different look when she wears it. But I thought that this was a fun spring dress. And now here is a cute little um, bandana print, Western rodeo styled um, dress. These fabrics I also found at Hobby Lobby. I had some old little lace border here, um, kind of a ribbon that I went ahead and put around the edges to make it extra frilly. And I think that Posey looks adorable in this one as well. This adorable sunflower dress, oh my gosh, I just love this one. It is so adorable against Posey's black fur. I don't know what it is about the yellow, it just makes it pop. But I happen to have this fabric on hand, the blue and um, little check with the sunflowers. We've had this fabric forever. And I used a little bit more of the yellow and white buffalo check print that you saw um, from the previous dress that I got at the thrift store and I used the same um, yellow ribbon to put around the waistline. And again, I had some white lace to put around the ruffles at the bottom. And this, I just think, turned out adorable. Here's a frilly black and beige dress. I had this material on hand from a skirt that I made for my daughter several years ago. Went ahead and put it to use, made Posey an adorable dress added on some black lace that I had on hand. It's always good to keep the extra little bits of material or ribbon because they do come in handy. You don't need much to put together these small dog dresses. And a black border here. It's kind of a loopy um, ribbon that I found at Hobby Lobby. The same as the yellow um, ribbon that I put on this dress, but in black. And um, I, you'll see that I use that same ribbon on another dress as well. So I do try to use it all up on the different dresses. And this one I just think is very elegant and pretty. When I was at Hobby Lobby, I noticed that they had some adorable Easter printed fabrics. So I went ahead and picked some of that up and made Posey an Easter dress back in April. 
I thought that this fabric was just lovely with the metallic gold accents. I went ahead and bought a pretty little gold and white ribbon that I could put around the waistline and I thought that it matched perfectly. I did pick up two different printed fabrics, the Easter egg print and also the polka dot print and I thought that they really um, complemented each other well. And this was a sweet little Easter dress for Posey. I experimented a little bit this time and I added a little collar um, on her dress, which I haven't done in the past. It turned out okay for my first try. I think I'll get better with um, practice, but I think it turned out nice and she looks adorable in it. We call this one Posey's picnic dress. It just reminds us of a sweet little old fashioned picnic style dress. The girls do a little auction, auction off their baskets. And this reminds me of something from the movie Oklahoma. And there's Posey barking. Anyways, this too was a dress made from fabric that I had on hand. The little green and white um, check we already had, the pink we had. This ribbon here around the waistline was a flat ribbon. I gathered it to give it the ruffled effect. This ribbon was actually on my daughter's bassinet when she was a baby, and she's now 18 years old, so had it a while. I'm not really a pack rat, but I do believe in keeping certain things like fabrics and ribbons because I like to craft. And so this one was kind of fun to just try something new. I did a little something with the ribbon there in the middle to give it um, a decorative effect and some white lace around the skirt there and some sweet little rosebuds at the hemline and right here in the center. And I think it turned out adorable as well. And this dress here, I just love. I don't know what it is about animal print and red, but it looks so sharp together. And on Posey's dark fur, it looks amazing. She looks so stinking cute in this dress. I was able to find these two little sheets of fabric at Walmart. They're called fat quarters. They're used for quilting. They were a dollar each. And so there's $2 worth of fabric. I already had the red tool that you see on the bottom side, and that is very inexpensive, but I had it left over, I believe from her Christmas dress or another project I did, and added that on the underside here to give that skirt a little extra fluff. There again, you see the black fringed ribbon at the waistline that I used on some of the other dresses. And this little floral arrangement here on the waistline was something that I picked up at, um, something that I picked up at Walmart. It was already pre-made and I wanna say it was like 275, but it's just so adorable with the rhinestones and the flowers and the tulle and I thought it would be a nice little accent on the waistline. So that dress there, um, if I really thought about it, it would be probably $2 um, plus another almost three, so that's five. I would add a quarter on for this because it's so cheap and you use so little. And then this ribbon I probably got for like a dollar with a coupon. So what did I say? Um, two, three, five, six, maybe six dollars, seven dollars total and you just can't buy a dress this adorable for that price. And more than anything, I enjoy making them. I think it's such a fun hobby. So this one turned out adorable. And last but not least is this adorable little pink and white and black striped floral dress. I love this dress so much. It turned out adorable. Found the fabric at Hobby Lobby. I was inspired instantly to go home and create an adorable dress for Posey. I tried a couple new techniques on this dress. Sometimes I will just get onto Pinterest or on the internet in general and look up dog dresses. And it inspires me by looking at pictures of dresses that other people have created or little boutiques are selling. And then I go and try to make my own little dress out of it. So I made these little I don't even know what you would call them, but on the old style dresses, these little poofs that go on the side here, and I bordered it all with this adorable gathered pink ribbon that I found at Hobby Lobby. Um, I went ahead and put a V of the striped fabric down the center here, along with the pink ribbon on the sides, and I just think this dress turned out adorable. It reminds me of her little dress from Paris, <laughs> so I think it's so cute. She, of course, looks darling in it. 
so much for watching guys. I hope this inspired you to get to your sewing machine and start sewing some adorable creations for your little fur baby. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to like this video and subscribe and I'll see you later.